At the annual meeting of the European Association for the Study of Diabetes, Dr. Helen Calhoun talked about increasing life expectancy in patients with type 1 diabetes. The first thing we were doing is reporting the overall differences in life expectancy and now the next stage of our analysis that we are currently running is doing exactly that, trying to look at different subgroups of the type 1 um, uh, population uh, and then looking to see how um, life expectancy differs according to what risk factor profiles they currently have mm -hmm. as that will give us uh, greater insight into where the improvements have likely occurred. Um, however, we do know um, uh, already quite a lot about this I and mean, we already know that there have been substantial improvements in risk factor management in the last 20 years. Even in the last 10 years in our own national data we can see improvements in many cardiovascular risk factors such as lipid profiles, blood pressures and so forth. Um, some of the areas however where we are not seeing um, such um, improvement are in for example smoking rates uh, which are still similar to the background population for example and it is also true that um, our glycemic control uh, levels are uh, on average w well above the target level of 7% for HbA1c. So, however, it has to be said, among our type 1 uh, population, we do already know from previous published work that we've published in the last year or so that um, glycemic control uh, is strongly associated with um, incident cardiovascular disease, the major cause of premature uh, loss of life in the type 1 diabetic population. Um, so it is uh, already well known that even in our data, those people with uh, better glycemic control have better outcomes. Um, unfortunately there aren't many uh, large-scale reports from other countries with which we can directly compare ourselves um, and I think it would be really interesting if we could see such um, large-scale comparisons with other countries in Europe and the US and beyond. Um, uh, one recent study that came out relatively recently was from the Pittsburgh EDC cohort. Um, now it's a much, much smaller study of just a few hundred patients, but they're a very well characterised group of patients that have been followed up for a very long time um, in, in, in Pittsburgh. And recently, um, uh, Trevor Orchard and his group uh, described how the life expectancy there has changed um, and found uh, substantial improvements also over the last 15 year period. So I think the general message of an improvement in life expectancy and a narrowing of the difference to the, compared to the background population um, uh, is, is generally true in the data that currently exists, though we need a lot more data to really make sure that that is happening in all countries.